So, yes. K plus two? Okay. No, second part. Oh. Big two. All right. So what we're going to be talking about, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call a recursive formula. Now, when we're dealing with recursive, rather than plugging in the numbers, like um, item line one, item line two, item line three, item line four, the sequence, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first value and we're going to take that value and plug it back into the equation. So what it's asking us to do is find the first five terms of the sequence, correct? Yes? Yeah. So, do we have a sub 1, we know is a sub 6, right? So the next one, what we're going to want to do is now, we take a sub 1 and we plug it back into our rule. So when I plug in a sub 1 back into this rule, I have a sub 1 plus 1, right? We're plugging in the 1 in for the k. Equals a sub 1 plus 2. So when I plug in 1 in for k, this is what I obtain. Now, obviously, a sub 1 plus 1 is a sub 2, which equals a sub 1, which is my first term, which is 6, plus 2, which equals 8. So now I can say a sub 2 equals 8. Now, I go to the next term. So now I plug in a 2 in for the k. So a sub 2 plus 1 equals a sub 2 plus 2. a sub 2 plus 1 is a sub 3 equals a sub 2 is 8 plus 2, which equals 10. So we can say a sub 3 equals 10. Do you guys kind of get the pattern? Mm -hmm. You're taking the previous term and plugging it in. So hopefully you guys can kind of see this pattern now and continue it. a sub 4 is really just going to be the previous term, 10 plus 2, which is 12. a sub 5 equals 12 plus 2, which would be 14. Okay? That's how you guys do that one. 